he asked me should he do uh, electric cars or rockets or solar energy and I said just choose one and he didn't listen to yeah. me. I think I may have been the only reporter to interview May and Kimball Musk after the Starship launch on 420. In fact, the Daily Mail UK ran a story with pictures from my interview. But I wanted to give you a little bit more context on how I ended up on the roof with the Musk family. The newest resort on South Padre Island and, in my opinion, one of the best places to watch a rocket launch from recently opened March 30th. Margaritaville features 200 rooms and suites as well as beachfront residence condos in one, two or even three bedroom configurations. And the property is the only all ocean view resort in the area. In every room, you'll have a private balcony and views of the Gulf of Mexico, which is perfect for watching a Starship launch. In fact, a little backstory for you. On the Monday attempt of April 17th, I decided to watch it from where most people watch these launches from at Isla Blanca Park. Now, that is also a great spot to view a rocket launch. However, I had so much trouble finding any service, and that's important to me because I wanted to be able to live stream the event for you guys. I will say I was able to connect to a Starlink for a little bit, but I had to stay pretty close to the user terminal. And again, it just wasn't an ideal situation for bringing you guys content on YouTube. Fast forward to about two days before the launch and I get an email from a man named John Vandenberg. He invited me to check out the rooftop area of Margaritaville and asked if I wanted to stream from there. Intrigued, I went to go explore this potential location and check out his MX-25 camera, a very high-powered camera that he was able to capture the launch with and provide that footage to NASA. After Monday's scrub, I tried to apply for SpaceX credentials again, and I was actually approved. I thought that that would be my plan no matter what, but when I went to go see the roof, I knew that I had to watch it from there. The view was absolutely incredible and I knew I would have a better shot of having service so that I could live stream for you guys. The morning of the launch, Joe Tegmeyer and I headed over to Margaritaville and we were far from wasting away in Margaritaville. We got to the resort around 6 a.m. and I was ready, I was awake, and I was so excited for the day, but I had no idea what was in store. It turns out Elon Musk's family decided to watch the launch from the roof as well. If you watch the live stream, you'll see when I find that out about midway and I am just speechless. I first interviewed Elon's mom, Mae Musk, and here is some of that interview. I'm trying to bring you the most unique coverage possible. Um, I think that interviewing Mae Musk here will be amazing. So <laughs> if you appreciate it, please let me know. This is my full-time job. This is how I feed myself. Um, and I feel very, very grateful to, to be able to cover this. And again, I am a TV news journalist by training. So my goal with Ellie in Space is to interview people and bring you guys content that you're not seeing on the other wonderful space channels. But um, I'm doing what I know how to do best. And uh, look, they're showing May kind of how the MX-25 works. So that is very cool. Um, it's amazing how much Kimball looks like Elon, actually. That is not a surprise. But um, Kimball is actually going to be opening a new restaurant in Austin pretty soon here. So um, May is, is getting to drive the camera here in a second. She is getting to see how this works. Um, she, she must be so proud. Uh, I said that I would come to the Starship launch no matter what, so crutches and all, we are here and we are very, very grateful. Um, I'm a little bit grateful that we have this take two because this is way better coverage than we had on Monday. I don't know how you could top this. Um, so, Hi May, <laughs> nice to meet you. Do you mind if I put this on you or? Okay. I love your, your outfit there. I'm Thank surprised you. you're not wearing clovers though. Four leaf clover. Oh. Yeah. Um, so, what are you feeling right now? I'm very excited. It's hard to sleep, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And but that's okay yeah. because I'm sure no, none of the engineers are sleeping. No, no. <laughs> and uh, yeah, because Kimball's here, Tosca's here, yeah. I'm here. Yeah. We're here to support Elon and everyone oh involved. I mean, you must be so proud of him. So proud of him. So proud of him. Um, 
we, some of my viewers want to know, what did he get grounded for as a kid? <laughs> what did he get grounded for as a kid? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember grounding him. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, well, I was working so hard, so yeah. if, he, if my three kids got up to mischief, I wouldn't know because I'm working. Yeah. I always am a dietitian. I'm now a doctor of dietetics. Wow. Yeah, yeah thank you. Wow. And, uh, and so um, I used to work very long hours, but from my home, so that I, I had an office in my home and the doctors So then I don't know what they were doing most of the time. I certainly didn't check their homework. And uh, so uh, I'm sure they were exploring a lot. Yeah, Elon did fall off a, out of a tree, that I know, because then he, he fractured an arm. And then and okay. Kimball and Elon would, would knock their teeth out and oh. fall off roofs, that day, but Tosca didn't, luckily. Okay. She played with dolls. It oh, was man. really nice to have a daughter. <laughs> wow. Um, we, some of them want to know, would you ever go in a starship? Would you ever ride in, in starship? I think nobody will in Yeah, oh, yeah. I had you to leave amazing. my party early oh. because I said, I'm sorry, we yeah. have to go and see yeah. how, how starship is doing. Yeah. How likely do you think it is that it's going to go today on 420? Wow, I'm, I'm not the one to guess. Yeah. <laughs> we hope so. I, I we're mean, crossing we're, we're here. We're here. We want, we'd Less love it to be good. Right Did, I know. Have very you exciting. talked to Elon this morning? Uh, you know, I have just um, got my coffee and I, I've got so many texts and everything and I wanted to send him a text to say hi, the whole fam's here. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I haven't um, had time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, Got here, yeah. What has it been like to watch the evolution of SpaceX? I mean, and, uh, yeah, I watched it from the beginning. Right, right. Yes, and uh, yeah, when they, uh, you know, and the, well, the first launches were terrible, were terrible. Right, yeah. right, right. Well, the first rocket launches, and uh, but that was more on Kwajalein Island, so I didn't go there, but I was, um, yeah, I was watching it wherever I could, you know, on video, yeah. uh, on YouTube or. or TV or whatever, yeah. or whatever we could see. When he first told you about his idea, did you think it was kind of crazy, or because of who he is, you thought he's going to pull it off no matter what? Well, when he when he told PayPal, then um, he asked me, should he do uh, electric cars or rockets or solar energy? And I said, just choose one. And he didn't listen to yeah. me. He just <laughs> didn't listen to me. And uh, but I mean. The, so the electric cars, Tesla's doing so fantastically. Yeah. I, I mean, it's the loved worldwide because I travel the world giving talks. Yeah. Because I wrote my book and they, they, they invite me to give talks. And everywhere I take photos of Teslas <laughs> because oh. I see them everywhere and people love it. So that's worked out fine. Solar energy, yeah, you're working out fine when you can get, uh, you know, the officials of the country to allow it, you know, because there's a lot of money involved in not having solar energy and then um, um, yeah this rocket stuff it's just beyond what I could have ever, ever imagined and I'm very excited. What is it like to have your son who is just impacting the world changing the world and, and really uh, benefiting humanity in yeah. such a powerful way? He, he just was, always was a kind boy you know I, I, I called him my genius I don't know if you read my book but I called him genius boy when he was he three years old, <laughs> I took him to school and they said he's too young. And I, I said, but he's a genius. And you know, they rolled their eyes because every mother thinks that. And uh, Well, you were right. <laughs> I was so right because I was the only one he had to talk to. You know, yeah. there's me and, and then Kimber was over there and then Tosca was on her way. Yeah. So uh, I had three kids in three years. And, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> You're busy. Brain dead time. <laughs> And, uh, One more question. And we'll yeah, let yeah, absolutely. Okay, yes, absolutely. I'd like to. Yes. You're, you're so lovely. Oh, I, thank I'm, you. I'm so thankful that you're willing to talk to us. And okay. Just any parting thoughts? I mean, this this could be the well, day. This could be the day, and we're all here to get excited and celebrate it. And I'm, thank you for yeah. for being such a big supporter. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. This, this we're we're all rooting for for Starship. Yeah. It's thank you. And it's Kimball. definitely awesome. Well, I'll, I'll okay. take this off you, and I'll yeah, let you go back. Back to what you quickly. Thank you. Yeah, six yeah. weeks ago I was in the hospital with a broken How femur rock climbing. Well, then you deserve it. <laughs> I mean, you know. You heard it here. Yeah. Rock climbing. <laughs>
it will heal. It, it will heal. Time. It's healing. I mean, it's going faster than I thought. So okay, okay. I'm just grateful I didn't miss this. Okay. I wouldn't miss this for the world. Well, obviously. Or for the broken leg. Yes, yes. <laughs> days. 46 days since her surgery. Yeah, 46 days. Uh, very, very grateful to be here. So okay. let's Thank cross you, our fingers. Thank you, May. I appreciate okay. it. It's awesome. Get to watch. Enjoy, enjoy. And text Elon. <laughs> Say good luck. <laughs> but you know, I don't want to just do it. Yeah. Yeah. I want to text him and say, hey, we're all here waiting. Right. But, and, but he replies right away. So right, right. I, I think I should do yeah. it. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'll text him after and say congrats. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, May. Thank you appreciate it. <laughs> huh? Do you think he'll talk? So let's just take a look here. How close are we? How close are we? Oh no, how close to launch? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Did they enjoy that? Did you guys enjoy that interview, that one-on-one -on -one with Elon's mom, the day that we could see Starship launch for the first time? Please share this stream. Please, um, yeah, this is this is beyond my wildest dreams of coach, and um, I'm very very grateful to be here. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Huh? Oh, uh, yes, this is Kimball Musk, Elon's brother here. Um, he's wearing his signature cowboy hat, so surprise it stays on in the wind. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah, at what point do you have to hit record and not let people play with it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't don't mess that up. <laughs> now I'm curious, how do you keep your hat on up here? <laughs> Part of me now. <laughs> <laughs> but with the wind. It's just part of me. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's permanent. Okay. Yeah. How happy are you right now? Well, semi happy. It reminds me of the first SpaceX launches, you know, the first four flew up. And um, so we have to just keep on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That was amazing. But the engineers seem to be optimistic. Right, right. Which is, which is important. Oh my gosh, that was incredible to watch. Yeah. To watch. It was incredible. Yeah. And then. <laughs> Did anything surprise you about it? Wow. Yeah, this is how it progresses. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Yeah. Well, we're so happy that, you know, it was mostly a success and they got yes. data. And yes. They one step ahead, another step ahead every time. Next generation yeah. vehicle. Here yeah. we go. It's so exciting. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Oh, cool. Can I just hear your reaction to this? Yeah, I'm just really proud of the SpaceX team. We launched a, uh, well, I think it's about a about 440 uh, foot story uh, rocket, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which is just mind boggling, 30 feet wide. To watch it go um, up, you know, uh, obviously we'll get all the test data, we'll get everything we need to, to make the next one more successful. But yeah, just an amazing success. and. Can't be more excited for for the for Earth. Right. Yeah. I mean, you've you've been with the SpaceX journey from the beginning. Like, yeah. how proud are you of Elon and the uh, team? Elon is just uh, I'm so proud of him, and, uh, and of course the SpaceX team. And you know what what happened today is exactly what we were, our goal was as a test. Let's get it up as far as we can. Let's learn as much as we can. And um, on the next one, we'll, we'll take it one step further. I feel like it went really well. It went really well. It was so exciting to watch that lift off. Was uh, one, of the, one of the greatest bit. experiences of uh, my journey with SpaceX. Absolutely awesome. Well, congratulations. I know it's been a long wait for this one. Yeah. Thank you so much. I'm still amazed at how nice and generous Kimball and May were to me to accommodating my interview. This was truly an unforgettable 420 launch. In fact. 
I may be one of the only YouTubers that made a commemorative shirt. So if you want to get one of these, you can find it in the link in the description. I'm still working on a full wrap up video because spending two weeks down in South Texas, I was able to cover a lot of ground even on crutches. I'm really looking forward to the next launch and I know that we have a bit of time to wait but I would love to watch it from Margaritaville again, and it sounds like I have a good shot of that. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope that you are enjoying the content. If you're new to the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. I found that over 60% of my returning viewers are not subscribed to the channel. It really helps out Ellie in Space if you could subscribe, and again, it's completely free. Thanks so much again for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.